So, we've come for a crazy one. Uh, just up to Google Earth, come for a wild camp at the beach. As soon as we get here, the, it's like a storm just happened. We're getting mashed. Oh, cool boy, you want to get your seat in that? Yeah, I do. Will, do you want to get your seat? Yes. So we've just got here. Not even set up. The kids have already been for a swim. <laughs> That's on now. Five minutes ago, we was in the middle of a storm. Go on, get in the water. It's about this time then, you can see that the, the camera's flicking. Um, and we basically didn't get to record much for this, uh, for this wild beach camp. I just abandoned it, abandoned it as a lost cause, uh, but then I was inspired by a good friend of mine to try and piece some of the video together and just explain that, you know, we're all human and we all make errors and we all make mistakes and everything else. This time it wasn't so much a human mistake, it was that I smashed up my phone, which was a Galaxy S8, replaced it with the S9 Plus, um, moving on a bit, because it had a better slow-mo camera and dual cameras for filming at night and stuff. So. That was the idea, get a better camera on the phone. Well, the S9 is too big for my brand new gimbal I've got. I've got an electronic handled stabilizer that stabilizes all the image just to try and make better image quality for you guys. Uh, that was the first problem. The second problem, it looks like I brought a counterfeit uh, SD card. So this is why the jumpings happened. Um, it wasn't recording very well. It was only towards the end of the camera that I realized on the last day or second to last day, I can't remember that I can switch back over to the internal memory and record on there. The GoPro I took was full, the SD card, which is normally not a problem. You just normally go into your phone app and delete <laughs> delete the footage and start again. Because I had a new phone and it was a new device, I couldn't remember GoPro's password that I'd set up, so I couldn't access GoPro. Same with my drone, I couldn't access the drone because uh, we need an internet at this spot and we never had it so I couldn't log into DJI to set up the new account on the new phone so I basically lost all ways of recording <laughs> and now here we are so I just explain I'm just going to put in a few nice pictures now and then just a few bits of clips I've got just yeah just to let you know that we all get it wrong it doesn't always go right it doesn't always go perfect but we, we all have to learn from these experiences um, Mine is that I was relying too much on one device uh, for a YouTuber or a, a creator, a content creator, maybe I should have had a backup. Well, even though I did with the GoPro and bits and bobs, I still should have been a bit more prepared. So that was my lesson learned. So back to the rest of the video. So everybody, I hope it's not too windy. I have got all the mics and everything with me, but the camera's been a little bit a little bit funny, so I'm not sure if it's working too good. But we've got the kids down there. <laughs> They're just going over to that fisherman because he's just caught a dogfish about three foot long. It's the first time they've ever seen a shark, so they've gone down there. I can already see the screen's all really bad, jittery. So this is a brand new Galaxy S9 Plus, about four days old, so they will have to go back. Uh, just behind me, me, Lily, and Josh are in this one. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you a little talk. So this is it then, it's just uh, it's just flickered before I even started again. But this is Chateau de KP TV. Oh. There's the boss's chair lot. Me, Lily, Jay, all that other food and stuff there. Bergen's table and sleeping quarters. And literally, it's our view. There is a bit of a rainbow over there actually. Yeah, we're going to be in there in the morning swimming. Plenty of people keep fishing on the coast, like. Happy days. Oh, that cameraman.
Yeah. See, I've just put it into sports mode, which means everything's moving fast. I'm still doing it. It's really crumbling. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> just just got faithful. <laughs> So what is up guys? I really hope that this video is not jolting in the editing suite. Obviously I won't know until I get home. Uh, look at this though. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely having a blast here. It is. It's flickering, it's flickering on the camera but I'm hoping when I put it in the editing suite it's not. So I'm trying to record a video as if I'm not seeing that on the screen. Yeah but I just wanted to say like um, trying to do this right so look at look at look at these kids here look. it's not even particularly warm out the kids are laying down in the surf you know people telling us that it shouldn't have been here it's too cold the kids shouldn't be in the water now anyone that knows me pretty well knows that we have been going through a bit of a hard time just lately whatever reasons and my attitude's changing in life that I'm not caring anymore I really don't care Come up to me and tell me no, I'm still going to do it. I don't care who you are, please, laws, whatever, I'm still doing it. So, so here we are, we're out enjoying it. E e even on the way here, I'll tell you a funny story. I was in, I was in the supermarket, I was in Lidl, I never had a quid in my pocket, right? I couldn't get a trolley. So I said, right, I'll have to get one of these big baskets. So, I broke me back in June, everyone will know. Leaving the shop, woman said, you're not taking that basket outside. I said, why not? It's because there's a sign. I said, a sign? A sign to say you can't take the basket to pass the security gates. I said, well, wouldn't that basket be a bit more, I mean, wouldn't that sign be a bit more useful at the front of the shop? So I've done my whole shop and now I can't take the stuff to the car. I said, it's, it's like this. I said, I'm taking it. Right? So I did. So I walked back, being an arrogant git, I sat there and I said, here you go. Here's your basket bag. Not stole it, I'm not a thief. But don't let people tell you no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't let people tell you no anymore, right? Life is too short the thing I figured out right people always said it all your life life is too short it goes by too quickly right people said we shouldn't be here on this camp today people fishing having a great time I'm having a great time kids are having a great time why why does no why do we have to accept no just do your thing and live life to the fullest <laughs> so this is all So, what's up guys, we're getting towards the end of Saturday night, the moon's out and it's pretty full, but it's played havoc with the sea, we've tried to get in there and I swear to god that boulders have come in and the shins about 100 miles an hour, but that's not the craziest thing, the craziest thing is, you can't see it, there's people up there, there's an illegal rape happening right now. There must be a hundred people come past us with massive speakers, loads of beer, everything. Proper <laughs> rave going on. There, there must have been about 20 like, trips back to the car. Yeah, they're all making 20 trips. They've got massive crates of beer, big barrels of beer, big massive speakers, everything all going on. So, no one's birthday or anything, they just No, out to no, the no, they said come down, come down, we're just having a big rave and it was like we had uh, we asked some people earlier and they said, oh, yeah, there was 100 people here last year for this event. 100 people. That's crazy. So, yeah, they're all doing their thing. And let them, you know, they're not bothering us, they're not troubling us. They've been nice, they've talked to us, they spoke to us, they stopped. Let them do what they want to do. Like, but, <laughs> wherever I say that, 4 o'clock in the morning when I can't go to sleep, there's nothing in it. 